Hello and welcome to chapter 5, part 8. In this part, we're continuing our main menu and getting our main menu to show when we start the game here. So what we're going to do is create a new widget for this. So go into your UI folder, right click and make a new user interface widget blueprint. I'm going to call this one main menu. Open this up and now we're going to design our, order, uh, our widget. Now I'm going to give this a slight um, color that fills up the whole entire screen. So I'm going to fade the color a bit of the camera. So I'm going to give it a bit of an overlay. To do that, I'm going to use a border component. So drag a border into your camera's pan panel and select it. On the right hand side, you'll see anchors. Choose that and you want to tick the one that's right in the bottom right hand corner, the big full square. Click on this and that will tell it to be anchored to the full width and height of the whole entire thing. Now to make it so it fills the whole entire screen, on the right hand side you'll see offsets. You're going to change the offsets to be all set to zero. And now it fills the whole entire screen. Scroll down further and you'll see content and appearance. We're going to change the appearance of this in the brush colour to be using that dark colour that we set up previously. So choose that option there. I'm going to make the A alpha down to 0.5 and click OK. Now inside this border I'm now going to put in the rest of my elements. So I'm going to put in a canvas panel to get started. So I put in another canvas panel inside my border and my canvas panel here is going to store all the different elements I need for my main menu. So I need my text for the title of the game and I'm going to click on that and position that inside this canvas here. The text I'm going to change to the maze game. I know, catchy title. And we're going to make that settings for its appearance a little bit bigger here. So I'm going to go for a size of 80 and we're just going to position that where we like it. So I'm going to put it up the top here. I'm also going to put in another bit of text in there and this text is going to be placed just above that and I'm going to call it, uh, give it content a Ryan Laylee Games Production. Or actually better yet, we'll do Ryan Lady Games Presents. But you can put in your name there. So put in your name and presents. Below this is going to be the buttons for our options. So I need a vertical box to store these buttons. Inside this vertical box are going to be two buttons. So drag button one into it and button two into it. Click on both of these and change their size to fill. The size of the vertical box is down to you. I'm going to make mine, let's say, this big. Now button, the first button is going to be renamed in the details panel to new game. Or actually, let's say continue. And the next one is going to say new game. So we're going to put text in each of those buttons. And make the text match what we're saying here. So this first one is going to be continue. And the second one here is going to say new game. And I'm just going to add actually a third button to this. So drag another button in to my vertical box. And another text into that button. And that button is going to be called Quick Game. And the text for this is going to be Quick Game. And I want to make sure that the button is set to Fill as well. So they've got even distribution. I'm just going to increase the padding between new game and quick game in the top. 
by 40. We'll quick game by 40. And I'm just going to resize my vertical box so it don't look too squished. Like so. Now for each of these buttons, I'm going to change their appearance. So on the continue here, I'm going to scroll down and change its background color to be zero in the alpha. In new game, I'm going to change its background color again to zero. And for quick game, background color to zero. So now I've got these three buttons that are just text. I'm also going to send to a line, uh, change the alignment of the text inside the buttons to be left aligned. So click on each one and where it says horizontal alignment at the top, change it to be left. And there we have it. Click compile and we're going to close that. And let's get that main menu being displayed on the actual game. So on the level blueprint, to so go to blueprint at the top, open level blueprint. After we change the camera view, we're going to get the create widget and choose the main menu. We're then going to add that to the viewport. And click compile. Hit play. And there is our menu screen. And we can click on these buttons that do stuff. Okay. So now we need to code in what these things are going to do. So let's do go into our main menu. And let's do the quick game one because that one's easy. We can click on the quick game button. And on the right hand side of the details panel, we can click the on clicked new event. And from there, we'll just do the quick game. Hit compile. Next, we're going to do the continue or new game. Let's do new game. So new game, we're going to go on clicked and tell it to go open level and it's going to be opening level maze one. We also need to change the game mode input to game only. So get your player controller. And we're going to tell it to set the input mode to game only. Compile and let's test that out. So when I'm playing, I can see the maze game come up and I can choose new game to load up the new level. I can now play the game. So that's how we do a main menu. Notice I haven't yet done the continue button. The continue button is going to be uh, solved in another episode in the next chapter where we do saving of the game. So what we're going to do now is go into our windscreen and on our windscreen we have the return to main menu button. So we're going to go into our graph and when we've got the on clicked return button we're going to tell it to open up the level and we're going to type in the name of that map we just created called main menu. Close that and we're done. So now we've got the main menu set up for our game. So when we click new game, it starts off the new game at the new first level. We've only got one more thing left to do in our widgets and user interface. And that is to make it so that when we go up to a key and there's a key on it we can interact with, we display a message to the player saying to interact with it. And same goes for our door. So join us in the final part where we will be working on that one. Thanks very much and I'll see you in part nine. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you like what I do and you want to see more content before anyone else, please consider supporting me for at least a dollar over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan For just a dollar, you can get access to all these videos early before anyone else, sometimes well ahead of anyone else. And I'll take this moment to say a big thank you for all my supporters so far in supporting me in making this channel content. Wouldn't be doing this without you guys, so a big thank you to all of you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.